So, John, you were married before. You were married when you met. Yes. So, this is so much controversy going on. This is like this is such a storm. What would make you want to go on reality television? You're a successful lawyer. It's reported that you make a very nice living. What's the reason to go on that kind of a show and be in this kind of a fishbowl? You know what? We, um, I, I'll wake up in the morning and Taylor will be completely in a horrible state of anxiety, and I'm like, "Is this me? If I, what am I not doing right?" And we decided that it was better to try and figure this out because I wasn't understanding what was going on with her. And there were a whole bunch of different things that were residual from her prior relationship that were really affecting us every single day. And, and I was thinking, I'm not doing it. We're in love. We love each other's company and we're great friends. But something's not right here. And I wasn't understanding it and she couldn't explain it to me. But it was a great process and it worked for us. So we understood how to communicate. I had a better idea that it wasn't me, that it was her and the things that came from her previous relationship. And Taylor, do you miss being in the spotlight? Do you want to be back on TV to stay relevant like your former castmates on Beverly Hills? Uh, I definitely enjoy having a platform. I do a lot of public speaking now about domestic abuse and I talk a lot about my experience. And I felt like in going on the show and helping people see what it's like to live with anxiety and also that that's just a part of who I am now. My brain, as Dr. Jen explained to us, has been rewired from a lot of post-traumatic stress. And people saw me kind of drop off the face of the earth after everything happened because I didn't come back on the show. Right. And I wanted women out there and men who have been in an abusive relationship to see that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that there's life after.